We begin with the PBA Governor's Cup quarterfinals, where the Morocco Bolts and the Barangay Ginebra Gin Kings bolster their bids for a twice-to-beat advantage. Marty Bautista tells us more. The Phoenix Super LPG Fuel Masters were only trailing by four points in the fourth quarter of their game against the Meralco Bolts in the PBA Governor's Cup. But Meralco ignited an 11-2 run midway through the fourth to lead by 13, 87-74. Phoenix was able to trim it back down to six inside the final minute of the game, but they ran out of time to complete the comeback. Final score, 92-86 for the Bolts. Import KJ McDaniels led the way for Meralco on both ends of the floor, 19 points, 16 rebounds, 4 steals and 5 blocks. Aaron Black was also a big help offensively with 18 points and 6 rebounds. With the win, Meralco ends the eliminations with a 7-4 win-loss record and they have a chance to nab one of the twice-to-beat advantage heading into the quarterfinals. The few Masters, meanwhile, end with a 4-7 record for the 8th seed. They'll await the winner of the matchup between the TNT Tropangiga and the Northport Batang Pierre on March 15 to determine if they can outrightly enter the quarters. We knew that if we lost this game, we probably would end up playing either Talk of Texas or San Miguel. So we wanted to get this, this win tonight to give ourselves a chance, one, for the top four, and two, to avoid the top teams going into the next round. And we were able to accomplish that. In the other game, the Barangay Hinebra Gin Kings got down to business in the second quarter against the Converge Fiber Xers. The Kings ignited a blistering 22-5 rally, paving the way for an 18-point lead, 56-38. Converge unloaded a run of its own to cut the lead by half at halftime, 64-55. Hinebra continued with its impressive offensive display in the second half and the lead went back up to 15 after the third quarter, 93-78. The onslaught continued in the final frame as Hinebra cruised to its fourth straight win, 120-101. Jamie Malonzo had a career-high 29 points, while import Justin Brownlee and Christian Stan Hardinger each finished with 28 points. Converge import Jamal Franklin was a non-factor, putting up just 4 points on 5 shot attempts. The win propels the Gin Kings to a tie with the San Miguel Beerman for the second spot, with both having a 7-2 win-loss slate. Hinebra needs to win at least one of their last two assignments to secure a twice-to-beat edge in the quarters. Converge, on the other hand, finished the eliminations with a 6-5 record for 7th seed. We were a little bit surprised that, that, that Franklin wasn't as aggressive as he's been in, you know, in the past, but, uh, you know, that's, that's not our issue. Our issue is to go out and win the basketball game, you know, if he wants to take 50 shots or he wants to take zero shots, it doesn't matter to us. We're just going to go out there and try to win. PBA action continues on Wednesday, March 8, at the Inares Center in Antipolo. The Blackwater Bossing will face the Magnolia Hotshots at 3 p.m., followed by Hinebra versus the Terra Firma Jeep at 5.45 p.m., after which the PBA will have a one-week break for the All-Star Game in Pasi City, Iloilo, which will be held from March 9 to 12. For News 5, Marty Bautisto, We Are One News.